This is our video about St. Hugh. My name is Aidan and I'm a St. Hugh house captain. My name is Georgia and I'm also St. Hugh house captain. Dear Lord, just like St. Hugh who cared for the poor and the sick, we ask that you give peace and comfort to those who are ill. May they find comfort from your healing presence and strength to get better. Amen. Our house motto is, we can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. He was born in 1140 in Avalon, France. His mother died when he was eight, and because his father was a soldier, his school years were spent at a boarding school. When he had finished his education, he joined the Carthusian monks at a monastery in France. Hugh loved all the animals in the monastery gardens, especially a wild swan that would eat from his hand and follow him. The swan would attack anyone who came near Hugh and it guarded him while he slept. This is why the symbol for Saint Hugh is a white swan. King Henry II was really interested in the work that Hugh did, so made him a prior and then Bishop of Lincoln in 1186. Hugh devoted his life to helping sick people and caring for animals. He died on November the 16th, 1200. This date is now celebrated as his feast day. On the 17th of February in the year 1220, he was made the patron saint of sick children, sick people, shoemakers and swans. We chose our motto because it helps us remember to live our life looking for ways to help others as St. Hugh did. The charity we have chosen to support this year is the World Wildlife Foundation. Like St. Hugh, we want to care for our world and the wildlife in it. This video from the World Wildlife Foundation makes us think about how we are damaging our world. You see, the problem is, we think we have time. We are the first generation that knows we are destroying the world and could be the last that can do anything about it. This is a choice. for your world with WWF. Pope Sadato C message tells us that we only have one world and we are all responsible. This is the Laudato C video. Pope Francis has written a letter addressed to every person on this planet, asking us all to protect the Earth, our common home. In the letter he says, The Earth is God's gift to us. It is full of beauty and wonder. and it belongs to everyone. But what we see today is that our common home has never been so hurt and mistreated.
we have developed at a greater speed than we could have ever imagined and have treated the earth like it has an unlimited supply of resources. We have taken more than our fair share from most people on the planet, as well as future generations. We have cut down the earth's natural forests, polluted the earth's waters, its land and its air. The earth, our home, is beginning to look more and more like an immense pile of filth. We are using more and more polluting fossil fuels, which is contributing to climate change. Climate change is one of the biggest challenges we face today. Climate change affects us all, but it's the poorest communities who suffer the most. And despite these problems, we are not slowing down on how much we buy and throw away, leaving a trail of waste and destruction. We cannot continue like this. We can change, and we can make a new start. The whole human family needs to work together to care for our planet Earth, so that we can sow beauty not pollution and destruction. So let's put love for the world and love for our neighbours into action by living together in harmony and caring for nature. Can you take simple, everyday eco-actions to care for the earth? Like turning off lights, reducing water waste, and recycling? And can you live more simply, reducing the amount of things we buy and throw away, so that we don't take more than our fair share? The world can't wait, so let's make that start today. Play your part to protect our common home. Laudato Si, a letter from Pope Francis on care for our common home. This week's scripture is from the creation story in the book of Genesis, verse 24 to 28. Then God commanded, let the earth produce all kinds of animal life, domestic and wild, large and small, and it was done. So God made them all, and he was so pleased with what he saw. Then God said, and now we will make human beings. They will be like us and resemble us. They will have power over the fish, the birds, and all the animals domestic and wild, large and small. So God created human beings, making them to be like himself. He created them male and female, blessed them, and said, Have many children, so that your descendants will live all over the earth, and bring it under their control. I am putting you in charge of the fish, the birds, and all kinds of wild animals. It links to St. Hugh because God created humans to bring everything under control and put us in charge of the fish, birds and wild animals. St. Hugh loved his animals and so should we. This week's reflection is... The, the creation, creation reflection. reflection. You will need felt tip pens and a large piece of paper. Start by writing creation on the piece of paper. Next, think about what the word creation means to you as a classroom. Creation means to me that God created the world for us. Creation means to me God created the world for humans and animals to live in peace together. To me, creation means God created humans to look after the animals and all living things. Our mission for you is... The Paul Ambassador Mission. Give them food, 